Hello my sisters. It's been a while since I've done a video blog and I come back this month with some really beautiful news. I've been feeling myself wanting to come back to work and then I got this wonderful news yesterday that gave me the prompt I needed. And this news is for all of you who have been trying to conceive for a while and have been told horrible news from a doctor or fertility expert or whatever that it can't be done. Um, so this beautiful woman, someone who did the Divine Mother Activation um, when it first came out back in February, and she also had a personal reading with me at the same time. And the personal reading, I was able to see certain things that the doctors and the fertility specialists can't see. And that is the potential of limitlessness. This is what I talk about all the time limitlessness. This is what we are stepping into now. So this beautiful woman who was born to be a mother um, was told that her egg quality was very poor and that natural conception would be a huge challenge. Um, on top of that, she had just had a miscarriage the previous year, so there was that loss on top of it. So this loss, along with being told by experts that it can't be done naturally, um, this is something that happens all the time. It's something that happens all the time. The doctors, the experts hand us these limitations and we believe them. And that's just the way it always has been. Um, but like I say, if you're visiting my website, if you're watching this video, it's because you have chosen to be one of the first to step beyond these limitations. And this woman did. Uh, and I'm so proud of her because, you know, it's one thing to give readings and to be able to see the higher potentials, but I can't make anyone step into them. This woman, and this is why I love this story, she took the stepping stones that I pointed her in a direction. I can't walk it for her, but I pointed her in a direction. And then she took that, listened to her own wisdom, her own intuition. Um, that gently guided her to places. She said the doors just opened up. She decided to have a minor surgery to remove her uterine lining. Um, and I would like to say that this was spirit-led surgery because she's listening to her intuition. She's listening to her wisdom. And the fact that all the doors just opened up for her just shows that this was a divine path she was supposed to take. And she so eloquently put in her email to me that she felt that this minor surgery was, I'm getting chills even before I say it, was spirit removing the old wounds uh, that she didn't need anymore and that she was still carrying around and had to be removed before this new beautiful soul could come in. Um, so she listened to her own wisdom there and I'm teary because this is, I mean, I can affirm that that's exactly what happened. This minor surgery she had, um, removed karmic, physical, biological wounds that she had healed emotionally and spiritually. Um, and we sometimes might need help. Sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need just a little extra help. And when we do, just like with this beautiful woman, the doors opened up. So anyway, she had this surgery. She's getting ready to do her first round of IVF. And wouldn't you know, she conceives naturally. Woohoo! Woohoo! And on the heels of a dream that her baby gave her. I mean, this is this is what can happen when we really tune into our intuition, when we really follow the path, a spirit-led path. Um, and I am so excited for you, dear sister. And I'm just gonna give you a blessing right now surrender this pregnancy over to the highest divinity within you, your baby and the divine mother, um, and know that this will be a blessed, blessed pregnancy, a blessed birth, a full term blessed baby, and you are a blessed mama. Thank you for giving me permission to share this story because it really is almost like against all odds um, that she was able to do this naturally, but she did by following her own guidance. Um, this is what's available for all of us. This is the fourth story I've heard um, 
from a mother who's done the Divine Mother activation that gets pregnant in almost an effortless way. And this is something I want to, you gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry, I switched over to QuickTime Player so my camera wouldn't freeze and now it's freezing. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this up. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So something that happens with when you when you get pregnant after all of this time, and this is what I've heard from the people who've done the Divine Mother activation. There's 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 a disbelief. There's a, a natural sort of anticlimactic awareness of oh my god I'm pregnant. There's like, it's it's sort of like an effortlessness of like, well, look how everything fell into place and it just happened. Um, and there's this Chinese proverb that I quote from in the Divine Mother Activation that says something like, um, you will wear out your iron soled shoes trying to make something happen that happens effortlessly in divine timing. And I, I just chopped that up a little bit. But the effortlessness that takes place when it's time to happen, it's almost anticlimactic. Like you think you should have a ticker tape parade and like parties, but you're like, oh, wow, that was kind of easy. I mean, can you imagine? But that is, that's absolutely a normal reaction after you work and work and work and you can't do it. And then you bring the divine in it and it's done. You're like, huh, almost like, what was I so worried about before? Um, so that's something that's like a natural byproduct that's happening. So could these women have gotten pregnant without the Divine Mother activation? Uh, of course. Um, but it is a stepping stone that can help those of you that are trying to do it. And um, many of them have had readings with me on top of doing the Divine Mother activation. Now, I did stop doing readings two months ago. However, I've decided to do them on a, on a limited basis. Um, and so I'm going to, they're, they're still personal readings, but they're also what I'm going to call private sessions. Because while we'll, you know, bring the spirit baby uh, realm, the spirit baby energy into it, it's also spiritual guidance to point you in the right direction, to point you to your limitlessness, and to point you to your own intuition and your higher self that is leading the way. It has nothing to do with me. I just say, you know what? That is what I see for you. And then you go in that direction with your higher self. So anyway, I am going to offer four private sessions this month, personal readings this month. However, I am going to qualify you to see if you are ready or if you're ready to step into this. Um, and so what I would like to do, if you want a private session with me, a personal reading, then email me. Email me your, um, your issues and I'll see if I can help you or maybe there's information on my website that will help me know that you don't need a personal reading. The prerequisite though is you have to have read my book first because that gives you the backstory of your story so I don't have to repeat it and waste time in the in the reading, we can get to the, you know, we can get to deep personal stuff, but you have to have read my meeting, uh, my, my book. So this month of October, I am opening up space for four personal sessions or private readings. So email me if you were interested uh, and the information is below this. Uh, no repeats. If you've had a reading with me, I've given you all the information that you can have. Just tune into your higher self. Because the one thing I don't want is I don't want to give a reading and have someone be uh, dependent upon me. That's not what it's about. It's about being dependent upon your own higher self because you do have all the wisdom you need inside you. So one more time, congrats to this lovely, beautiful woman who is now pregnant with this blessed baby. Let's all send her blessings of protection and love. She brings this new child into this this earth and this beautiful vibrational child in. And if you do want a reading with me, email me, tell me what your issue is, uh, whether you've had a loss, whether you're trying to conceive, or whether you're pregnant, um, or whether you have a newborn. I did, my last reading I did was with a woman who has a newborn, and we helped her get over some birth trauma from her baby's perspective. Incredibly healing, incredibly beautiful. 
Um, and I welcome more pregnancy slash baby reading. So if you have a pre-verbal baby, or even if you have a child that you need help with, I have three children. I understand how it goes um, and how challenging it could be. So whether you're trying to conceive or whether you have a baby or a child already, email me if you like a reading and I will make one for you. All right, I'll talk to you soon.